What is up guys, it's me Jerry Game here for some more Metroid Samus Returns. Last time I did one part of this game, I did the introduction of this game and now I'm going to continue on from where I left off. Now, I started this in like early September and now I'm going to continue on from my playthrough since it's been so long. Now, I have been waiting a while to do my videos because it has been Christmas and a holiday so I've been taking a holiday break but now I'm back for more videos. So yeah, I will be featuring more content later this year, and be doing probably some more events, probably. Alright. So yeah, that boss right there was a Metroid. That's, that's what they are in the game. So, what we got right now is a DNA sample. So, the DNA samples are what let you advance throughout the game. Think of them as the power stars from Mario 64. You need a certain amount to continue on throughout the game. So the more you have, the more you can progress throughout the level, the game. So it's it shows down here that we need one DNA sample. So once we get it, we can continue into the next area. So this is an energy tank. The energy tanks increase your um your life energy. So each um purple bar means that you have a hundred hundred energy so the more energy you have the more you can survive so to enter through this area you have to fire a missile at the red area so you can enter through here so then you have to fire this and now you can use the charge beam So the charge beam allows you to charge up your blaster so you can enter through doors that that are not on. So if it's not blinking or it's the the giant button's not on, then that means you have to use your charge blaster on it. You can also use it to do a special screw attack whenever you charge it up. Now if you go over here, you'll find another Missile tank acquired, which will increase it by three. Yeah, each time you find the missile tank, you'll you'll always get it increased by by three. All right, so now now that we have the DNA sample on the charge beam, we have to head back to the area, um, to the giant totem to insert the DNA sample. I hate these things. Sorry, it's hard, kind of hard to play oh, like this and get the camera on. Alright. Just checking if there was anything I missed. Alright, so. Just blast here. Yeah, careful of the water. If you fall in it, um, you're going to take lots of damage. Alright, so now you have to step on here. So I'm just adjusting my cam the camera. Give me a minute to... Alright, there we go. Alright, so now that we inserted the DNA sample, we can progress throughout the level. So what it does is that it now lets us enter this entirely new area. You can't enter here because there, it's filled with poisonous gas water. Or just to toxic water that will do a lot of damage if you fall in, trust me. It just takes a lot out of your life. Alright, so we just need to enter through here. Now these right here are teleporters. These are allow you to go back to places that you weren't able to go to before in the game so there is another one back there um, by the introduction level but we don't need that right now so we'll go back for it later 
these are blocks that can only be broken by the by morph ball bombs. That's what I call them, the morph ball bombs. Yeah, to get um, down here, just fire like a normal blast and you'll go through. Now, this elevator will take you into the next area of the game. But, so this is the surface, so now we're gonna head to area one. All right, so the air. So this is area one, the the first level of the game, or the first actual level of the game. I mean, aside from the introduction. All right, so I'm gonna use my my scope to see if we can find anything hidden. See if we can get any upgrades. There should be probably an upgrade right here. Nope, it's just the save point. Yeah, I'll save. That's saving. Alright, now let's continue on. There's so many of these enemies. I forgot what those are called, but they'll we'll have we'll have to use them um, at another part of the level. Oh it got hit by that sewer water. Alright, so as you can see right here, we need four DNA samples from the Metroids in order to continue on to the next part of the level. So let's con continue on and get those Metroids. So I'm probably going to do two per video. So I'll get two here and then do two more next time. So this is an area where you cannot go in. So that if you go in there, you will get burned. Because the heat inside that area depletes your energy um, insanely. So, you would need a certain upgrade to go in there, which is probably the heat shield, I think. Which allows you to go into, um, intense heat areas. Alright, so, let's head over here. All the way up here. We gotta go up here. Gonna do some wall jumps. Shoot up here. Alright, so... This is an area where you can increase your energy. You need the energy if you want to use your uh, Iconic Pulse. So that's how you're able to use the Iconic Pulse by the yellow bar down you see um, below you. I'm not sure when you can improve it, but I think it's at another part of the game. Alright, let's continue on. Save, of course. Alright, let's go. And I fell. Dang, I just backslashed it. Alright. We'll need more bombs for to take that out to enter that area. All right, let's go through here. But I think we can get him over here. Wow, he missed. Blast a missile over here, and let's see what we get. All right, nice. So this is the bomb. So whenever you're in a ball, you can now f um, deploy bombs while you're in the morph ball form. So watch. This is also an easy trick to use whenever you're trying, you're in a low area and you're trying to bounce off. So these can all help you launch into the air. That's a really cool cheat that you can use. All right, so just take this bomb over here, and now you can access um, parts you couldn't in the game. You can deploy a missile right there if you launch yourself and on um, to get this missile upgrade over here. Alright, let's roll. I know that was uncalled for. Alright. Gonna ignore these guys. And him too. Now this is how you enter the area. So now let's use the bombs we acquired to enter this area.
All right, so it's glowing because we now found another air, another temple, I mean teleporter. So that means we can now access the teleporters. Oh, wait a minute, I think I missed something. Nope, I didn't. All right, I, th I thought that was a secret. Alright, let's go through here. Gotta ignore these enemies so we can just head over here. Just fire bomb over here. And one more. And now we'll, you'll find another missile tank of the raid. I'm surprised we haven't found a Metroid yet. Oh, let's go over here. Hold on, just let me take him out. Let's hit it. Oh, I thought that was a... Nope, not over there. Ah, here's another upgrade. So this upgrade will now um, give you a new beam to fire. So this is the ice beam. This will allow you to freeze enemies so you can jump on them as your own pr platform. So watch, you can fire at him, and then and now you can use him as your own platform. Oh yeah, just be careful when using this because it does only last a couple of seconds, so you have to be careful on how you're using it. But it is very effective against the Metroids you battle. So, you can use your blast, the new ice blaster, to blast him to get up here, onto here. Ooh, that door must have been busted. What's a great trick is firing the ice beam, and then firing your missile tank at it, so you can instantly kill the enemy. Just gonna save my progress, because I don't know what's gonna happen next. It's probably something insane. Let's go in here. Oh, uh, bomb. Hmm, that was weird. I guess I'll have to come here next time. Oh, whoops. Messed up the camera angle. Sorry about that, guys. I think I can get up there. Come on. <gasps> we did it! Yeah, the way I did that right there was just by using the bombs instantly multiple times. Alright, so, fire missile. Oh, I... That's an area where we can't enter through yet. We'll need another upgrade once again. Alright, let's go here. Dang, we just instantly killed him. Alright, I'm gonna go back the way I went. Miss me. Excuse me. Come with the roof army. Oh yeah, you can't jump yet. Ugh, I That's an area you can't enter. That's gonna you can't enter from here. You'll have to go onto another side because 
because of the air vent, it will uh, make your bombs flow up instead of just going down. Ooh, you're gonna be you're gonna be careful on these vines because those vines will instantly do damage towards you. Now over here, you'll find a Metroid. Ah, come on, give me energy. Fine, 75, I'll take it. Now, when it does that, that means you cannot hit it. It's using um, laser-type energy to not be hurt. Oh, no. Hold on. Swear to... Alright. Oop, I'm dumb. I almost fell. Just gonna fire a couple of missiles at him. If you fire um, an ice beam at it, fully charged, it does a lot of damage towards him. And there we go, we destroyed one of the Metroids. I'm gonna search for one more and then end the... Or... Yeah, I think I'm gonna show you one more thing and probably end the video here. <gasps> oh! I forgot about that. Yeah, if you throw grenades over here, you'll enter a new area. Careful. And there we go. We can find another Metroid boss fight. Yeah, I'll do this and then it probably end the video. Whoop. Yeah, careful of those um, little laser balls that he drops. They do a lot of damage. I'm not joking. It took away half of my energy. Like that, see? Alright, let's do this. This should kill him. And there we go. We destroyed the, the second Metroid. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to check out more of my content. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe. Later, guys.